Hey all, and welcome to the programming tutorial for today. I haven't been doing this much programming recently, so I wanted to try and catch up. Today we'll be managing speech recognition in a text-based adventure game to give it a bit more buzz and just to give it something uniquely different so you can learn two things at one time. So if you go into references on the side and if you left click that and go into add reference you can, and then click dot net you can then add a reference click by component name it might look different on your screen because I've got different dot nets uh, but if you have a look and go up it's upwards that always catches me out and then go into system dot speech ok that and then at the top press using uh, system dot and then you want speech dot synthesis for today we're using the synthesis for recognition that's for voice input rather than the output that we're going to be using today so then we can go speech synthesizer which is what we want and then name it something I'm going to go S S Y N equals new speech synthesizer to initialize it and that initializes it so you can create a quick program at the moment just to test it out using the S S Y N dot speak and then you can have anything so you can have using the a uh, string variable you can say hello my name is Lone Wolf and I'm doing a programming tutorial and then exclamation mark comments and then finish off and then once you're on that hello my name is Lone Wolf and I'm doing a programming tutorial they can see the output so today is just basically using that so you can copy that and then use it at a later time just to save me typing it out because that's going to be long and laborious and I don't really want to do it <laughs> but yeah so we can have a look and we can type in let's leave that to the screen you are in a let's go for the same thing what we did last time room there is an exit to the north what way I said that's uh, I guess punterization is very important in speech uh, synthesis because uh, it uses punterization so if you say a comma it will pause for a bit uh, what way do you want to travel and it's just simple at the moment you can expand later on so let's have a look. We can you play are that. In room. There is an exit to the north. What way do you want to travel? And we can also output that to the screen by console dot right line and just copy that and put it in. You could also make a function uh, using that and that will do both together. So let's have a look at using a function. So all we need to do is do a void and let's call it speak and talk uh, speak and text let's call it and we want a string argument and let's call it x and from here we can use that and then just copy the two lines what you did earlier plumb it in and then put the S without the commas under that and likewise for the second one we want the speech synthesizer to go here and then we can just close that and then go for as you just uh, get that back copy the string close that off and then we can go string first line we could also put this in a list so you can see how quickly it develops into only a few lines of code to do repetitive tasks for the beginner this is very important functions are very important for a beginner 
to learn because then you can minimize all your code into uh, contains massive lines down into a few lines here only so string first line and then we can just copy that in end it and then usually speak actually we need to make that a public I'll explain public and private in another video if we can do that speak Ah, so I have to make it a static variable. Sorry, apologies for that. Sometimes we all do make mistakes. And speak and text. And we want that to equal first line. So as you can see, as a beginner programmer, you're already uncomplicating the code and making it quick. You are in the room. There is an exit to the north. What way do you want to travel? And with a lot less lines. So doing this line you can then use the speak and text to quicken everything up and then you can get another line. As well as that we can copy this. Actually we don't have to really because we can get display it. And copy this. And use console. Actually, we can only we can now easily do uh, input text speaking, and then from here we can get some input and also uh, say it like we did with the imp output as well from the output text. So then we can get a new input uh, console. Before we need that, we need to get rid of that. We don't need a new string in there. We don't need to take any variable whatsoever, but we do need to return. So in that void, you need to now transform it into a string to get back what the console is saying. So we can go with string x equals null for now. And that's just uh, transforming it into nothing. So it's just Laying it saying it's just nothing at the moment. Or we can do that if you're very comfortable with that. So now we can do console dot read. I want it to do read line rather than put commas there and then use that as the X and that's working because that's still named the X. Just to get what's up with it. Uh, but not all code pass return a value. So after you've done that, you need to return x. And from here, we can then do input string response equals input text speaking, and then uh, put a comma there. So then we can withdraw a line. So let's see what happens. So we so now we run. There is an exit to the north. What way do you want to travel? So now that that's come up, it is reminds me of a few older programs. But let's go with north. North. And that just uh, come back to me. So that's how you make the beginnings of a fully featured voice recognition synthesized text space adventure to bland to taste to spice up the bland kind of text adventure into something more spicy so yeah I thought I'd never use spicy on a programming so I thought I'd only use it on a cooking so <laughs> but yeah that's how you make from a bland text adventure into something new fresh and exciting using the power of speech synthesis we've been going to find I hope you like this <laughs>